Sup Trekkies. Hi, so it's that Tuesday time. It's, <laughs> I'm, I was gonna do the Crenum Science Vessel. I've already statted it, or not statted it, I've already laid out its equipment and set up my bars so I didn't have to deal with that one on the camera. I get to see the unboxing, but I named it wrong. It's a Crenum Science Vessel, it's not a temporal vessel, so I have to rename it. It's called the Chrono Trigger right now. Let's switch on over to it. So we can go over what I'm... Alright, isn't that ship pretty? I mean, that, look. Turn it around, there it is. So, we've got, what have I equipped on it? Well, basically, I've equipped the chronometric polar on our way from the chronometric calculations, because it's got the four piece from the most recent mission, where you go to the future, and then the box, because it has the Krenum Chroniton torpedo, which I've actually put in the back. Because when I got it, I put it on my dreadnought, and I don't, it's cool, but not that great. The phase torpedo in the front, because I used to face things, but every once in a while I hit in the back. So I've got five weapons facing forward, basically, because I've got two beam arrays, the quantum phase beam array and the chronometric polaron beam array. And you're like, polaron and phaser, what? You know, same thing here, polaron and phaser, and then two torpedoes. Why? Well, because we've got this console here, not that console, this console here, which is 20% polaron damage. This one here, which is 22.5, but I upgraded a while ago. It's Mark 14. And then I put this one on, right here, come on mouse. Because it's bonus phaser damage, because the destabilizing beam that comes out of this set, the quantum destabilizing beam, that is phaser damage. And it gets buffed by the phaser console damage. But other than that, I have very much typical stuff, I mean, I have the bioneural gel pack because it's a bioneural gel pack. I mean, if you're not running a heavy DPS set, then what the hell? Plus the 7% bridge officer cooldown couples really well with 15% cooldown reduction on science bridge officer abilities. So that's like 22% reduction. It's really cool, which is like, and I haven't really tested that yet, but I'm taking a wild guess that my gravity wells, which have a chance to proc a less cool hack this. Thanks, duty officers! Yeah, and then my projected singularity, because it's particle generator damage and beam weapons, because this thing uses beam weapons, and I might as well have accuracy with beams. And then the science, the exotic particle thing, because particle generators and maximum shield capacity. Right! I mean, it's not a very complicated setup. I've put the temporal overcharge warp core so that I could get at least the anti-chroniton focusing emitters. In case you guys have forgotten what that does, it's bonus tetrion damage. It's pointless for my ship right now. I just like the disentanglement console, which is right here, because it's bonus ox damage, shield capacity, and then bonus ox and reduced damage to shields. I, I love that thing, and then I love the temporal overcharge warp core, because it's ox ox, electroplasma systems, aux to shield and a slipstream bonus with an aux battery. I just, that set bonus sucks right now. It's pointless. But I've put the typical secondary deflector on it, <clears throat> which is energy damage, flow capacitors, and what that little means is um, your sensor analysis gives bonus damage. That's what that means. It's also a flow capacitor console and as it's 20% set recharge time to 60% of normal recharge time, which is deflector abilities. Uh, plus, and then the EN damage is 5.6 energy weapon damage. And then 20% chance set recharge time of 20% of normal, because that's what And then the de why it's deteriorating is because it works on tachyon beam, which I use a lot. Energy siphon, don't use. Destabilizing resonance beam, which I don't actually have on this ship because of the bridge setup. And then Tychon's Rift. Hmm, I have to think about this one. Do I have the other one? The other one is available. Jam sensors, tractor beam, and gravity well. I will have to consider this one. Oh well. <laughs> so, to the stations. I'm pretty much using hazard emitters, Tychon's Rift, jam sensors, science team, tachyon beam, gravity well. I'm using feedback pulse on this because the mastery of the ship involves feedback pulse. 
Um, so I'm getting used to using it. And then tractor beam. And then my engineer. And basically, because I use subsystem targeting, I can't use J Jottle because she has beams. She's good for when I use non-science vessels because I love having, I love shooting beam overload, but it uses a shared cooldown with my subsystem targeting. And I don't use mine, so, so I, I don't really retrain my bridge officers. As you can see, I have a shit ton of them. I have a whole hell of a lot of bridge officers to choose from. But anyways, th so that's why I have double torpedoes. So here's the initial thing. I'm gonna go out to sector space and go find um, something, something to one of the little deep space encounters for first. And then we'll cut and then I'll jump to after I have the mastery because I know how to level up a ship really fast. It's just really boring. What are you? Tholians. We'll do Tholians then. Tholians will work. <clears throat> but I have the... Anyways, the set that I have on it for like deflectors and stuff is the one from Eclipse. Um, not my typical Mako, so it's weird. <laughs> No, oh, I want to get my thing. Gotcha. Shut it. Do not exit the game. It's really weird because I don't have any fighters. Man, it's like the first time I've had not fighters. Ah, initial. This thing 
turns a lot, and it fires a lot of torpedoes. I would need to work with my bridge officer abilities a little bit. That was, that was a little nuts. Plus, again, it turns, and I was, like, over... I don't know if you guys saw, but I was, like, overturning in some ways. Because I'm used to my dreadnought that I've been playing for, like, the last month or so. Ish. However long these... But it, it, anyways. So, I'm going to go and level this thing up. Because that did get us much experience. Did we get the first level? Oh, it looks like we did get... Maybe did. Yeah, we did get the first level. Cool, but I'm gonna go hit Borgs because those also give a lot. And figure this shit out and stuff. So we'll cut back, I don't know, an hour or so. I don't know, it's gonna take a while to level this thing up so I can show you how great the feed in increased feedback pulse means. Dad, sitting right here, improved feedback pulse, 50% plus plus 50 percent feedback pulse damage and crit severity for 15 seconds crit chance for 15 seconds when hit with any yeah so it's great i just need to get it <laughs> and figure out so yeah i will check you guys all here in just a bit 909 by myself, even though, yeah, that would probably be better. I don't know which ones I can patrol or rendal system. I don't know, I forget which ones these are. They don't patrol here much. Rendal system. Anyone? Scan the satellites. Sure, all right. facility. Oh look, I just guess.
hierarchy battleship. System before I change my mind. Short move. Until we meet again. Sweet. That was that. I probably should have killed it. You know what? Don't ever do it again. Leave the system. That was that. No, oh, Delta Mark package. That was uneventful. But as you can see, I was on advanced fighting hierarchy ships, and it was not a problem. So. Yeah, I like I like the generalized idea of the fact that the ship turns pretty effectively. I've gotten better at figuring it out because I know it's not a dreadnought. It turns about as well as the Vesta, so that's that. And so now, I mean, I didn't change anything other than my traits I'm using for it are the emergency response because... When I first started earlier, I had two fighter traits on. I don't have fighters, so they were pointless traits. So I've got emergency response when taking damage below 50% home. Why not? <laughs> and then greedy emitters from the Nandi. This boyo, feedback, improved feedback pulse. And then unstable anomalies, because I love my ace, I mean, my anomalies. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that. I like the ship. It definitively has a punch to it, but you gotta know how to play your science pretty well. You really do gotta know how to play your science. Or it's this is not gonna be a great thing. There we are. I will catch you guys next week for whatever Cryptic has for news. Alright.